imagine how happy you would always be if you lose interest in happiness. Imagine accepting the death of someone you love with the equanimity with which you accept the death of someone you do not know. Imagine being able to resist the urge to defend your point of view when doing that would be pointless. Imagine being free from the never-ending cycle of wanting something and not allowing yourself to be happy until you get it. Getting it, allowing yourself to be happy, getting used to having it, no longer seeing having it as a reason to allow yourself to be happy, and then wanting something else, and not allowing yourself to be happy until you get it. Imagine preferring your own company and no longer being addicted to that of others. Imagine no longer being scared of death. Imagine having lost the arrogance that makes you want life to happen as per your wants. Imagine welcoming adversity as an opportunity to test and improve your mind. Imagine being able to walk through life with joy, without crutches such as entertainment, friends, alcohol, and a lover or a spouse. Imagine not having a problem with seeing tomorrow or dying today. Imagine seeing a door of what you disapprove of as a victim of something. Loneliness, impatience, greed, ignorance, hatred, fear, arrogance, stupidity, love, horniness, etc and, as a result, being sympathetic towards them instead of being judgmental. Imagine no longer being able to be bored. Those are some of the many practical benefits you will eventually enjoy if you start reading my aphorisms religiously. An aphorism is a pithy observation that contains a general truth. In other words, an aphorism is an observation that contains a general truth and is expressed cleverly in a few words or is brief but full of meaning. Before I tell you how reading my aphorisms religiously will improve your life greatly, here are a few examples. Mokokoma Mokowana says, We love being mentally strong, but we hate situations that allow us to put our mental strength to good use. A beautiful quote by uh, Mokokoma Mokwana, a South African philosopher and a social critic. He says, plants are more courageous than almost all human beings. An orange tree would rather die than produce lemons. Whereas instead of dying, the average person would rather be someone they are not. Beautiful. In just few lines, he has described how fake we humans are. Imagine how much more crazy money would drive us if we could each drive more than one car at the same time. Um, there was a, one a quote that I, I posted on Instagram that I really liked, which was, looking but not seeing is the hearing, but not understanding of the eye. I'll just read that again. Looking but not seeing is the hearing, but not understanding of the eye. That was, that was by um, Mokokoma 
Moko Honoana, who is from South Africa. And that's all we had for you tonight on KUTV Primetime News. It is a Friday. You and I know what that means. For the sake of those who don't know, Moko Koma Moko Noana is saying, employers are at the happiest on Mondays. Employees are at the happiest on Fridays. Now over the weekend, to be sure. I'd like to read tonight's aphorism uh, with thanks to Moko Koma Moko Noana of Mawelering, South Africa. And he says, unlike our politicians and our religions, the current coronavirus pandemic has managed to make us care about the health of even those we hate, especially those whom we are likely to come across. <laughs> That's a very true observation. And I came across a quote that I really love. I'd never heard this before. I thought similar thoughts, but I never made it. I never put it together this clearly in my head. It's from a guy named Mokokoma Mokonoana. And he said, Rich men use most of their money to get richer. Poor men use most of their money to look richer. And that is extremely true. My aphorisms will eventually make you enjoy the benefits I started this video with by, for example, revealing useful facts by making you a practitioner of life-changing practices. By making you an independent thinker, if, like the vast majority of people, you are not one. By changing how you look at some things, and by destroying some of your illusions. Join my online school for students of life. Get exclusive access to my many master classes through your smartphone, tablet, or computer. New master class, which is made up of my unpublished aphorisms every Sunday. Every master class takes about 10 minutes to read. Segredos e verdades que a sociedade tenta esconder. Mococoma. Comprar. As mulheres nascem com algo para vender. Mococoma. Marco Noana. Before you demonstrate wisdom by joining my school for students of life, just know that my school might not be for you. I am irreverent and I do not use euphemisms. I write to enlighten intellectually and spiritually, not to please or entertain. I sometimes seem to contradict myself, like I will with the ending of this video, as a result of not having written as the illusion called self. I do not believe that human beings are the most important entities in the universe, or even on earth. I will often make fun of, question, or even attack one of your cherished beliefs or institutions. In addition to a mystic and a philosopher, I'm a satirical social critic, not a motivational speaker. I'm in the business of destroying illusions and producing minds that do not need illusions, not the business of preserving illusions. My school is for real truth seekers.
an extremely rare breed of people who want to have as many illusions of theirs as possible destroyed and, as a result, die having experienced as much of reality as possible. Join my online school for students of life. Improve your mind and, as a result, the rest of your life. The last statement is, of course, truthful to the unenlightened, the vast majority of people. To the enlightened, however, that statement is bullshit. For one thing, you, being nothing but awareness, are the stage, the only stage, on which, not to whom, life is happening. Mukokoma.